name's Ocelot. Big boss. You know who I am. A certain man gave me a job to do. Two, actually. The first was to get you out of that hospital. The second was to rescue the man himself. You remember? Your partner, nine years ago, Kazuhira Miller. Nine years back, your private army came under attack by Cypher. You were considered dead. Until today, that is, when Cypher found you. And it's not just them. The whole world wants you dead. You'll have to join up with Miller. Build that private army of yours one more time. It's your only chance. First, we need to save Miller. He's in Afghanistan. Afghanistan? <laughs> What, you can't keep up with world affairs in a coma? Four years ago, the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. The Muslims are fighting back with Western support. Miller was training Mujahideen rebels when he was captured by the Soviets. The Reds' 40th Army. Troop strength somewhere around 100,000. Squad holding Miller set off near the Pakistan border yesterday. Three days, they'll reach the Soviet garrison. They'll be interrogated for a few more days, and it's off to a logger. Or left to rot in a ditch on Afghan soil. I give him two weeks. The job didn't mean anything to Miller. He only took it on to keep you safe. Well, there's our ride. It's a whaling ship. Had a pretty good deal on her once the IWC started raising a stink. Now, seven days to Port Kasim, another three over land. So we won't have much time once we're there. Don't take too long getting used to your new self. Hang on. Ha!
under total Soviet control. Miller's been captive for 10 days. Not much time left. The weather will clear shortly. Storm's passing. to it. After nine years on ice, the solo infiltration of the Soviet main ground forces Be the perfect warm up. <laughs> Kazuhira Miller is being held in Darwin Dehar to the north. Check its location now. Take out your eye drawer. You see Wandy on the map? That's where they're keeping Miller. Only problem is, we don't know his exact location. Finding it is your first priority. Got your binoculars? Or should I say, your imp scope? See the village? Straight ahead? All right, that's the village. If you see something through the binoculars and you need more information, just give me a call. I'll tell you anything I can about it. That's Violo Village, the Violo Calais. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's become a base for the Soviets' 40th Army. A few days ago, Miller was taken through there, en route towards Dewan Dehar. You may be able to pick up the trail there. It's worth a shot. Put a marker on it so you don't lose track of where it is. Marker Good. Placed. Now you won't have to worry about getting lost along the way. You can't have much left in him. I give him three days, tops. If we fail, and he dies, we lose our chance of revenge. But we need more intel. If you just go charging into Doan Dehar, you'll be putting both your lives at risk. See what you can find out first. The Soviets have other outposts, not just the one you saw. Afghanistan is a big place. I expect you'll become quite familiar with those binoculars as you plan your next move. How and where you make it, well, that's up to you. From here on out, you're on your own. You're a legend in the eyes of those who live on the battlefield. That's why you have to handle this mission yourself. Put those nine years behind you and return as big boss. That's how Koss would want. I'll be sending additional intel by radio. Stay sharp. Not one of Miller's bodyguards survive. But they were good. All we found on the scene were their corpses and knees. You'll be missing them. And you're his only hope of getting them back. Alright, we're back with more Metal Gear Solid 
five, the Phantom Pain. So yeah, here we are, uh, right where we left off last time. Didn't miss much. Just been sitting on the horse until uh, until I was ready to record the next part, which is now, right now. Um, let me think. Uh, oh yeah, volume control. Volume was pretty whack on the last uh, on the last part. We'll go ahead and get moving. Um, wasn't very good. This is not this is not the max speed of the horse. I'm just talking, so we're going slow right now until we get into the action. But uh, yeah, no volume controls, so I had to go in into uh, the capture gear. We lowered it. Hopefully, it's good. Like I said, uh, first part, you know, he's th this is early on the walkthrough. We're gonna have to work some stuff around. I'm not a pro, okay? I'm an amateur. This is amateur hour. But if you want to stick around anyway, I appreciate it. But um. Yeah, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we gotta go find Miller. And, uh, he said you got like three days to do this. It does not take three days. I think they just wanted to, you know, since it's your first mission, they wanted to, first mission? First mission, they wanted to give you some time to, you know, go slow, look things over, whatever you want to do. And it is daytime, so it might be preferable. Uh, and I might even do it just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, we have, uh, somewhere around here, not fragrant, phantom cigars. So you can activate a phantom cigar. Oh, activate phantom cigar, and this will uh, fast forward time. So uh, you know, we'll wait till it's about dark, and then you can hit left on the D-pad to unequip it when you're done smoking. Otherwise, he'll keep smoking for I think, um, I think the base, uh, the base uh, time limit, like maximum time limit, is 12 hours. So he'll smoke pretty much 12 hours. Um, you can upgrade it, make it longer. I think it's better at 12 hours. I'm not sure if it says anywhere. Yeah, but um, it doesn't really have any other effects. I do like to have our night vision goggles equipped, just in case we need those. We will not be using frags. I have the magazine. That's a very overpowered weapon. And I have uh, this stuff equipped. I guess it might be worth mentioning. You know, we went over this in the tutorial how to aim and shoot. But uh, if you got like more than one gun, which we did in the tutorial, you can hit like the X button. Quick, quick, uh, quick swapping. Um, so, you know, there's that, and, you know, you just hit the D-pad, quickly select another thing, and then throw it. Another thing I didn't know until, like, halfway through the game is if you have a throwing weapon like this, and you hold the trigger down, it goes into, like, an overhanded throw, where usually he just, like, kind of underhands. So he, he's like a, he's like a, he's like a pro baseball player the whole time, and I didn't even know it, because he can really chuck that thing. So we need to be, uh... Heading somewhere, doing something. Um, not really sure. Said something about like uh, our objective is that over there, but I think they want us to go and get some more intel. Uh, I played the game before. Okay, before I get interrupted again, I think I should tell you that. Mmm. Alright, Ocelot, I get it. It's like he thinks I've never played the game before or something. Also, one way I like to get off the horse... Oh, that was the wrong way. I'll have to show you later. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Um, I know how to play the game pretty much to, like, the best of, uh, the best way you can. I think that's a guy over there. Alright, now I'm starting to forget what I was going to say. Um, so, what I was trying to say is I know how to play the missions uh, pretty much like straight through. Like, I know where to go for most of the missions, and I could go straight there. And that would kind of cut out some of the mission. Like, part of the mission is trying to figure out what you're supposed to be doing sometimes. So, I'm going to play it like I don't know what I'm doing. But, uh, you know, so, uh, you don't have to go here, especially if you're going for like S ranks and stuff like that. But uh, I'm going to go here. Oh, I'll grab this guy. Reflex mode saved me there. Oh, that'll happen a few times. Interrogate him. Boss, you don't understand what he said? Oh. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Don't leave yeah. bodies out in the open. Find some place to drop them out of sight. Yes, we don't have an interrogator. I 
kind of forgot about that being the first time that I've started a new game, I guess you could say. Oh, bad guys. So, um, you know, it don't really matter where we put this guy. If you can, um, I like to put him in a trash can or a, um, what is it called? Like an outhouse? A porta potty And they won't get up if you do that. Um, I'm just going to leave him there. It's fine. Um, I would usually recommend killing him, but I'm, I don't know. I'm going to let him live this time. I'll let him go. But, uh... Yeah, so what, I was trying to interrogate him to find information because we're supposed to be here looking for information um, about Miller's whereabouts. I think our antenna. There could be intel files of some kind in there. Yeah, um, I think we already kind of have Miller's like suggested or like probable or possible location. I guess I'll take some of these materials. It's not going to be a very big deal for my walkthrough, but yeah, see, we got an intel file here, and this is like the optional part I'm talking about. Like, we kind of know where I think he is. Like, yeah, he's kind of assumed to be here, but we don't know exactly where in that place, and it is kind of a big place. So they recommend for you to come here and get the intel file. But, you know, me already playing the game, it's, I'm saying it's not completely necessary. It's, so this, this is not an S rank run. Probably not. But, um,. Because we're going to be going slow, doing what, you know, you would be doing if you didn't know what you're doing. Um, so you picked up an intel file. Extraction. Now we know where Miller is. I'm marking it on your iDroid. Alright, so now we know exactly where Miller is. So he is there, but now when we get there, we should know exactly where he is. Not just like that, he's there somewhere. Now we just need to get out of here, which is uh, shouldn't be too hard. Getting spotted in this game isn't really a big deal. Um, going back to like S ranking and stuff, I thought it was a big deal to like really, really be stealthy and uh, that I was being graded on everything that you do because you saw that we got a grade called D Horse. I don't know if you guys know about that, but you can like, when you have a buddy with you, we have D Horse with us, hold the left, uh, left bumper in and you can call them. And most of them have like a special ability too. Or like some little thing they can do. For D-Horse you can like ride on the side and you're pretty much invisible. Um, as long as, you know, someone's not on your left side and you're hanging on the left side of the horse. Uh, then they would see you. But uh, we're pretty much okay. So, um, yeah, like S-Ranking. Like I was saying, uh, it isn't that harsh. S-Ranks usually come down to two things. And as long as you do one of those two things, or both... Um, you're usually going to be okay. S ranking is not that hard to do. Boss, taking the scenic route? That's not the way to one day. Check its location on your iDroid. Oh yeah, he's right. I am going the wrong way. I'm glad he pointed that out. But, um, yeah, what was I saying? I guess we can go this way. I think there's a mission task that way. Oh man, I'm drawing blank. Mm, nah, we'll just go for Miller. Because I am pretty sure there's a mission task that way, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, S ranking. I keep, I keep, mmm. Yes, I know, God. Do I even have to give him a call? He's got me on the phone this whole time. But, um, yeah, what was I saying? S rank. It falls between two things. Usually, side objectives, um, like tasks, that's what they're called. The side objectives are called tasks. And, um, time. Time is the big one. For most missions, it just falls to time. You don't really have to do anything else. You can if you want to. You can get an S rank however you want. Um, it's either like point, just trying to get the points, or just trying to get the time. Um, but most of the time it falls to time, because you can, you always have to get the right amount of points, but most of the time you get all the points you need if you just run through the mission, get a good time, without, uh, too many combat alerts, none if you can manage it. But, uh, yeah, time usually gets you most of the points you'll need. Um, so, you know, other than that, you can really do whatever you want. That's why the game is pretty open-ended, really. You can, uh, kind of go in guns blazing if you really want to. 
it's not. It, you're going to take a lot of penalties that way in in, in combat alerts. If you take penalties for combat alerts. Oop! Somebody sees me. I'm trying to get up this way. I thought you could somehow. Oh. That dude sees me for sure. Oh, no. No, he doesn't. He's an idiot. I think the horse might be in the way. Oh, yeah. See, there it was. The horse was in the way. I knew you could get up on this ledge. This is the way I like to take to get into the base. Also, your camouflage does help. I don't think it hinders you if you're wearing a different one, but it does help if you're wearing one. Like, I don't think you get spotted uh, more easily if you're wearing, like, something totally different than the environment you're in. Like, if I'm wearing, like, solid red or something. I say that off the top of my head. There's actually, I don't think, a solid red camo suit you can get. Sorry if you like red. But, um... That's a type of medicinal plant. Bring it back to base. You sure didn't have to get that plan. plant. You did not have to get that plant. I just, I have sticky fingers. I can't help myself. Also, that's, uh, I was clicking in the right stick. You can kind of zoom if you click in the right stick, or you can hold the right bumper and just look at them. They won't see you. So, you know, that's good. Um, what else was I saying? Camouflage. I was talking about camouflage, but yeah, camouflage can definitely help you. Um, if you have, like, the right camouflage, it is in the right, uh, it's blending well with, you know, the right environment. If we go prone, we should be okay here. Nope, we are not. He sees me, sort of. Not enough. Not enough to really matter. But usually if you're prone, you're pretty much invisible. That's the building boss. That's where they're holding Miller. I didn't want to wait for those guys, so I thought we'd go in this way. So yeah, I don't know if it's on our map or not, showing us exactly where Miller is. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. I think the intel file would tell us, but yeah, he's pretty much right here. Alright, so now all, now all we gotta do is get out of here. Easier said than done. See, this guy saw me. Go into reflex mode. Make sure you always shoot him in the head, no matter what weapon you have. Uh, because it's an instant takedown. That way you don't have to really uh, fool around. You definitely don't want to be going with, for body shots and stuff in reflex mode. You want to kill that person or put that person to sleep as soon as physically possible. Uh, so here's one of those porta potties I was talking about, and I guess I can. It, you down it doesn't day. matter. I, I was gonna show it, but I don't want to put Miller down. If you put, if you take a guy and put him in a porta potty, even if he's asleep, not just dead, if he's like asleep, he will never come out of the porta potty. He will not wake up at that point. If you just leave him on the ground, they will wake up eventually, depending on how you put them down. Uh, I didn't mean to rhyme there either. Um. So you gotta watch out for that. But if you put them in a trash can, porta potty, they will never get out of that porta potty or trash can. Uh, so that's something you can kind of use to your advantage. I've been waiting nine years to hear him. Kept you waiting, huh? Come on, save for old times' sake. That dude's an idiot. 
Also, I'll stop right here. You might have saw a flashing. I think we saw a flash. I'm trying to get off the horse. I forget which button it is. I don't use the horse very much. Uh, but yeah, flashing. Have you ever seen a flashing? It's uh, diamonds, man. They're uh, it's always diamonds. You see like a flash. Oh, that dude see me? So we had to take that guy down. That's why I like to have um, my rifle equipped if I can, because it's it's uh, fully automatic. You don't have to reload at all like you do for that one for the tranquilizer pistol. So. Watch out. It's the skulls. Don't let them find us. Boss, whatever that mist is, it's all around you. We can't see through it. I'm changing the RV so it's outside the mist. Get over there. The chopper will be waiting. All right, so he says not to get seen, but um, you can, I think, wait under this bridge for pretty much forever for him to walk by if you want to do that, but this is going to kill your score. Like I said, it's about time. Um, so what I like to do is just run right at him. So yeah, see, so just run at him, and now we're in like a high-speed chase. So now all we gotta do is just try and get to the RV. See, there's the helicopter, and you can see the circle is where the the landing zone is. So we just need to make it there. And I like to head across through the hills here. I think you can take the road if you want. Um, as far as avoiding these guys, like not getting shot, it's kind of easier said than done. You can kind of bob and weave a little bit, but it's not going to matter. What you really want to do is just try and keep your speed up. Because if you're moving, then they can't stop to shoot you. Because they can't... Uh, I, th I don't think they can move and shoot at the same time. But, you know, don't, don't take my word for that. I could be wrong. See, they usually like to stop. Uh, they usually like to stop to take a shot. And as you can see here, we've made it out of the... We made it out of the fog, so we're good to go. You just make, you really want to just make a break for it. It looks like they're gone. Perfect. And that's the unit that attacked us before. They came at us real fast in the same kind of mist. Our men, survivors from nine years ago, were wiped out. Right. And it's put Miller in. They won. Good exam. No mistake. I hit the reload button. I'm trying to get off the horse. I keep forgetting what the button is. The buttons are for the horse. Uh, yeah, if you were to come back and do this at a later point, you could, uh, you could try and fight those guys if you want to. Uh, but I, I would recommend always to just run by them. I think that's the best way to handle the situation. And there you go. That's how you rescue Miller. Um, I'm not sure if we got shot there or not, but you might have noticed it said, like, it might have came up and said, like, hit taken, points deducted. Um, that's usually not a factor at all. That's almost not even important. Because you can't really take enough hits for it to affect your your final score. It's it's, it's just, it's not enough. Oh look, we even got an achievement. Phantom Limb, what did we get? I'm excited. A B, okay, yeah. Let's see. Probably because of the time. It took 35 minutes, really? Hmm. That's, uh, it's kind of crazy that it took that long. I guess, I guess maybe. Sure. I don't know. I don't know where it got that 35 minutes, actually. I just... Because we've only been going for like 20 minutes here. It's not like I've been, you know, screwing around off screen or anything. But we did get some money. That's good. Our deployment costs and support costs was zero. Don't get used to that. That's one of the big things. Like managing money is kind of a big deal. Um, and we got heroism here. Uh, this, they make it have to be kind of a big deal, but it's really not. The only thing heroism affects is um, volunteering staff members. 
for your mother base, and we'll see more about that later. But that's as far as heroism really goes. It's they make it out to be a big deal, but it's it's really not, because it's kind of like how they penalize you if you do something you're not supposed to. It'll say lost heroism. It's uh, really not a big deal. Um, they always like to say starring and everything like that. I'll I'll let it scroll this time, but from now on we'll probably be we'll probably be skipping this because they like to run the credits after every mission. I don't know. They like to pretend it's like a little ep episodic thing, even though we bought the whole disc with the whole game on it all, the, all you know, same time all at once. We got some uh, some cassette tapes. We'll get to those later. We were dogs, all right. Slinking around out of sight for sight. Digging up whatever kind of dirty money we could find. You name it. We did it. You see this? Diamond dogs. Our new home. And from of our former selves. Like a damn fiddle! Help me, Snake. Keep going. It all ends soon, exactly as I planned. No! Give my regards to your boss when you get home. above nations, even the U.S. And I was the parasite below, feeding off Zero's power.
everything that we've lost. And I won't rest until we do. Oh, your mother made. I mean, like you used to. Things have changed, boss. We pull in money, recruits, just to combat Cypher. Rubbing our noses in bloody battlefield dirt. All for revenge. The world calls for wet work, and we answer. No greater good. No just cause. Going even deeper. I know. I'm already a demon. Heaven's not my kind of place anyway. <laughs> Dogs of war for nine whole years. We're not junkyard hounds. We're diamond dogs. Let them talk. We can crush Cypher, boss. And you can build the army that can do it. Just one thing, Kaz. This isn't about the past. We're fighting for the future. So here we are with our next mission, sort of. We're here at Mother Base. Uh, I think I mentioned this before, but it's pretty much just a tutorial we're about to go through on Boss how Mother Base works. Concerns the running of Mother Base. Okay. This base belongs to you now. Make Diamond Dog the force it deserves. Like any organization, we need good people, and we need to make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out for you. Start bringing people in. Use this. It's a Fulton recovery device. Yeah, we're there definitely gonna get some use out of that. Extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here, and we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on, test it out on the staff here. Anyone you want. First, put them to sleep. You have a tranquilizer gun, don't you? Don't pull any punches. All right. Put this guy to sleep, I guess. I shot him in the crotch. And, uh, this will give, give you a taste of, like, how long it takes with one dart to put somebody to sleep. If you shoot him twice, it's a lot faster. It's taking so long, I'm actually wondering if it's gonna work. Alright, we'll just do it the easy way. That's one way of doing it. Now extract it. Good. Extraction, Extraction 
mission complete. It only bolt and recover someone if they're not resisting it. No dead bodies either. They don't make great recruits. The staff member you just extracted will be assigned to the team best suited to his abilities. See for yourself. Open your eye droid. Select staff management from the mother base menu. So that staff member was placed on the R&D team. The R&D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. Please That's the R&D team's development list. See the item called Cardboard Box? Didn't seem much use to me, but Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. The last word in infiltration technology, or so he said. In any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. We need more staff on the team. Go extract a few more people. I like how we... Fulton extract individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC next? Show them how it's done, boss. It's an otter, boss. I like how we don't have the manpower to make a, cardboard, a cardboard box. To knock someone out instantly. That was pretty much what I just did with that throw. Now extract it. Good. Extraction complete. One thing I should mention. A Fulton extraction won't always be successful. If the person is injured, the shock of it could kill them. And if the weather is unfavorable, well, they could end up going missing. You can determine the chance of success by approaching the person you want to extract. If you want to be sure you can get them out, best carry them to the chopper instead. All right, extract the next staff member. All right, so let's see who's the next guy. This guy. I'm ready, boss. That was not a throw. That was like straight up combat. That's what happens if you keep mashing the attack button. Also, when you uh, unlock stuff that can be developed, it'll show you there on the on the left hand screen. Some of the stuff you so might not see. Items under the development heading. Some of the stuff that popped up there you might not see during your during your playthrough. You didn't miss anything. I just had some DLC, so it pops up there for that. So let's see. Now select cardboard box and start development. Just be aware that development requires funds, GMP. Watch we don't end up in the red. Fortunately for us, it doesn't cost anything to make a cardboard box. And it's instantaneous. Development has finished. Alright. Please select a You can have the support point. unit supply you with weapons and items you've developed. Think of it as your own personal delivery service. Supplies requested. I never use this function really unless I'm, you know really in need of supplies which doesn't happen very often because uh it's like they're charging you for your uh they charge you for that support cost to drop stuff in and depending on what you get you might even be paying your deployment cost again if you were to just buy your own loadout over to get like the ammo so prices can vary sometimes it can be quite a lot so the green box is not the cardboard box Somewhere else, you're free to move them around. Well, that about does it. You won't make any GMP or find recruits hanging around here. Board the chopper when you're ready for a mission. Open your eye droid and select a landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Or if you're still in the mood for knocking guys on their asses, you can stay around here a while. Give the men some practice. Just come pay me a visit. So yeah, we could do that, but I don't really want to. Um, a quick way I like to sign a helicopter is you can just hit up and down on the D-pad for some different stuff. So you got like resupply, um, place markers is the one it's usually defaulted to, or helicopter, and you can pick the nearest helicopter. Um, it's telling you in the tutorial to go to the missions tab and then helicopter and then request pickup. And we'll do it this time, but this is probably the last time you'll see me do that.
also it's fun to knock people around like that. Um, it didn't, it doesn't really take effect on our guys, but if I was out in the field and those were enemies, um, the way throws work is, um, the knockout period for a throw is usually pretty short, but it's extended, um, for each consecutive throw. So, there was four guys there, and the first guy wouldn't be knocked out very long, but if I went to the second guy, because it pauses time after you throw the first one and asks you if you want a quick time event, kind of grab the second one and throw him too, he would be knocked out longer than the first guy, and then the third guy would be knocked out longer than the third, than the second, Extraction and then the, the fourth would be knocked out longer than the third. I don't know if it, I think it says that at some point. Probably a loading screen or something like that. I learn a lot of stuff from loading screens. If uh, you just sit there and, you know, watch a few of them, go through them, you can, uh, you can, um, you can, you can find out some pretty interesting stuff, especially if you scroll through them, because it is possible to scroll. Some more, uh, briefing tapes there, definitely useful. I like to listen to those. Um, some of those tapes are even required that you listen to to get, like, the final ending of the game. Um, if you want to know which ones those are, it's always the yellow ones, or gold, or whatever you want to call them. So yeah, see, we're on the loading screen, you can like switch, it's telling us about cardboard box here. And you just like keep hitting over, like left or right, it'll just keep scrolling through stuff. I think you could potentially see every loading screen tip or hint right here on one loading screen. We just kept going, but we're not going to do that. So yeah, here we are, back in the helicopter. This is pretty much central hub. Boss, I know you haven't been back long, but I prepared a list of missions for you. Open your eye droid. I like I like to look around the helicopter. This is like aerial base. There's like more as you play through the game, more and more photos like fill up the helicopters. Like some on the roof sometimes, and over here. There's one in particular I like. I don't know how long it's going to take us to get it, but I'll, I'll point it out for sure. So I guess we'll look at uh, the missions. Is what he wanted us to look at. This is how you select and go on your next missions. Um, if you don't do this, you'll never get to your next mission. Also, job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high-value target elimination. Probably all a walk in the park for you, but they should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you're rested up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. Of Diamond Dogs is in your hands. We're counting on you, boss. Alright, so as you can see here, we got like our three new missions and then also previous missions. You can actually go back and replay these if you want. Um, it's totally up to you. And after you complete a mission, it automatically tells you all the tasks for the previous mission. So uh, let's see, like on the last mission, um, complete restraint training, complete strike training. I don't even know what that was or where that was. Not, it doesn't matter. Um, I remember for this mission, I was thinking about going, you can go to this area, and then, uh, what was it, Ocelot got on the phone and told us we were going the wrong way. I was going to go to this area because I knew it was, it's, uh, it's uh, third one down, extract the commander from the barracks. So I knew he was there, but I didn't know, I didn't remember which, where he was. It's coming back to me now. Uh, usually the commander is always wearing like a red barrette. Um, so... If you were to go there, you know, just look for a guy with a red barrette if you want to do that. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, we got three m more missions to do, but uh, we're kind of, you know, getting close to 40 minutes, maybe over it at this point. And uh, it's been a lot of tutorials, and uh, we got a lot of tapes to listen to. Maybe we'll get to that eventually. But I think I'm going to leave it off here for now. Yeah, I hate to do this. I mean, we got like, what, a, maybe like 15 minutes of action in a 40-minute video. Uh, the action will start bumping up, you know, they're starting to take the training wheels off. Um, but to be fair, we, we will have the training wheels on for a little bit longer, but you know, they'll, they'll take them off before too long, I'm sure of it. I played the game. But I want to thank you guys for watching this part, and until next time, I'll talk to you later.